Did you ever walk through a museum and think, man, I would love to 3D print that? Like, not just buy a souvenir, I mean like actually print that artifact. Become the exhibit and be gently escorted out by security. Well, today we're hunting down the places that museums actually put their 3D stuff online legally. And for the low price of free 99. <laughs> Welcome to Make and Build It, where we solve problems you didn't know you had and show you things you didn't know you wanted to print. Like a deep, unrelenting urge to print a space probe. Today I'm going to show you where to find real, official 3D printing repositories from museums, science institutes, and yes, NASA. Because apparently NASA looked at space and went, hey, here's some STLs. Here's one of the biggest problems. You search T-Rex museum quality and the internet goes, here's a great file called trexmuseum.stl. You download it and it's either not a true realistic scan, it's low poly, a non-manifold nightmare, or a file that prints as a flat rectangle of sadness. So instead, we're going to the first party, the direct source. Museums and institutes have meticulously 3D scanned things such as T-Rex skulls, spaceships, and some amazing pieces of art. And if you made it this far, you might as well hit the subscribe button. Let's start with my favorite, NASA. NASA has an amazing 3D resource library. This is the closest thing we have to, do you want to print space? Yeah, well, here you go. NASA didn't have to do this, but they did, which is super awesome. Meanwhile, I can't even get my printer to stop making spaghetti when I look away for seven seconds. You download everything from spacecraft to landing sites. For instance, this is Curiosity's landing site on Mars to even things like supernovas. And what's really cool is I spent some time at NASA when they first started up their 3D printing program. And I saw some of these landscapes being mapped out on giant room sized tables using MakerBots. What's really cool is these are official assets, not interpretations of them by some great 3D artists out there. They're actually the 3D scans of the item themselves, like for instance, such as this terrain or some of the spacecrafts. Next, the Smithsonian 3D digitalization, which is basically like, would you like to spin a fossil three-dimensionally like a rotisserie chicken? They have a great collection of artifacts, natural history stuff, even hominid fossil bottles you can view and download. Nothing makes you feel more powerful than printing an Allosaurus claw or a T-Rex hand on your Elegoo or Bamboo Labs printers. Ah, yes, I'm a scientist too. He's not really a scientist. Then we have NIH 3D, the place you can download and print medical and bioscience models. So if you ever wanted to hold a double helix in your hand and say, I understand science now, this is your moment. So if you want really deep nerd stuff like specimen scans, Morphosource has a museum's backroom vibe, but sort of in the best way. You can find CT scans, specimen data, and models that might not instant print, but they're legit. This is where you can download something and go, sweet, why did I download a Cala Prime Madness Capatistist for, oh yeah, what reason? Oh, that's a desert rat kangaroo for my zoology class. Want to print landscapes, mountains, or your hometown? Or a dramatic tabletop battle map? The USGS 3D Elevation Program doesn't offer STL downloads. It's more like here's the raw earth. If you ever wanted to make topographic prints that make people go, wow, you made that? This is where you could start. Tools like maptobottle.com make it real easy for people to 3D print their files. It lets you download STLs or 3MFs if you have multicolor prints. Now, Uncle Jesse did a really cool tutorial video on maptomodel.com, and I'm going to link it in the description below if you're interested in learning how to do this yourself. I mean, I can make a tutorial better, probably, maybe, maybe not, but the Uncle Jesse one is really, really good, so go watch that if you're interested in making maps of your hometown. Europeana is a massive digital collection that pulls together museums, libraries, archives, and research institutes from all over Europe. And yes, it includes a curated 3D collection. 
And this isn't just like, hey, here's a vase. This is statues, historical objects, architectural details, and artifacts that look like they were forged by someone named Yurlik in the year 1147. Don't worry, I'll put all these links in the description below. I'll also create a resource guide on makerbuilded.com that lists out all the places you could download free STLs. So a lot of museums have their file formats in OBJs or GLTFs and other 3D file formats. So your workflow should look something like this. Download the model, import them into Blender or Nomad Sculpt or whatever 3D modeling software you're using, make them watertight, close up any holes or weird floating triangles, export the STL, slice it, print it, and the last step is the most important, immediately show it to your family and demand praise. If they don't praise you, that's fine. The printer loves you, the printer understands. And another important thing is to make sure you check the licensing on any of these models you download. Some are open access, some are educational, some are non-commercial, and some are ask permission. We're here to print cool stuff, not summon copyright demons. So yeah, museums and institutes have been quietly feeding us 3D models for quite some time. Comment NASA, the Smithsonian, or any of the other sites to let me know which one you think has the coolest models. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making. <laughs>